It's Rissa. The only thing that I did have in this video was a primer and setting spray just because I personally haven't found a setting spray that really works for, you know, my skin. But I do know that the NYX Dewy Setting Spray is really, really good. I heard great reviews about that one. So if you guys want to try that one out. And I also heard the e.l.f. Was it the e.l.f.? I think it was e.l.f. Primer. That, that's pretty good. So if you guys want to try that out, comment down below. Um, if you have it, let me know so I can go buy it. Yeah, um, let's just get right into this natural, affordable makeup tutorial. Let's go. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab my Pond's Dry Skin Cream. And I'm going to put that all over my face. And then I'm going to do my dewy... What is that? My dewy... Oh my god, I forgot what it's called. Maybelline Dewy Foundation. I'm going to put that all over my face. And we're just going to... Blend that in with the beauty blender and I hate my voice on here so I'm gonna go and let y'all watch me blend my foundation. Alright, so next I'm going to put my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer, and I'm not going to put this right under my eyes like a triangle, but I'm just going to put that in the inner corner of my eyes, and kind of like a wing, if you would say, on the outside of my eye, and that helps because it's not directly under your eyes, so there's not so much product, and this helps if you have dry under eyes, and this really works for me. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Airspun, and this is in the transparent shade, and all of it will be in the description box down below, so don't worry about that. Um, I'll put everything down there, but yeah, so I'm going to take my Beauty Blender Puff, and I'm just going to make sure all the creases are gone, and then I'm going to dip it in the Airspun and just put it directly under my eyes. And then I'm going to take my e.l.f. Eyelid Primer, and I'm going to put that under my eyes under i mean on top of my eyelids what am i talking about y'all i have my retainers in and i can oh my god i can't speak i can't speak so i'm just gonna go okay <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics palette in Hanging in Hawaii, and it's kind of in the pricier side of the drugstore, but you can get it at Ulta for like $14, so I just put it in here because it's not very expensive, but just want to let y'all know that it's kind of on that side. And don't worry about the shade names, I'll list everything in the description box so you guys know what exact shades I'm using, so yeah. At the end of this video, I might look a little bit like too caked up, but trust me, in person, it does not look like that. So yeah, just warning. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to wipe off the powder under my eyes with this off brush. And like I said, everything will be listed down below for you guys, so don't worry about that. Next, I'm taking this Wet n Wild Contour Stick. And this is very, very smooth and creamy, so I do like that about this product. And it's in the shade Walnut. So I normally don't use cream contour, but for the purpose of this video, I did want to show you guys that option just in case if you guys do like cream contour, but I personally, I kind of suck at cream contour, but you know, I kind of did my thing in this video, but you know what I mean? Like it's not my go-to, but yeah. Thank you. 
Now for this, I made the mistake one time of literally dragging my contour, like with the brush, like I literally just dragged my brush and it took off all of my makeup. So I suggest that you guys pat the product in your skin. That works so much better. Okay, so the upcoming clip, I forgot to film me opening the powder, so don't be confused when you don't see the bronzer anymore. Like right here, um, I just took a brush and I have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, and I use that to kind of fix any mistakes that I made during the cream contouring. So yeah, I just kind of clean it up a little bit. So now I'm going to take more of the Fit Me Loose Powder and just put that where I didn't set yet, so my chin and my forehead. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. blush brush, and I know it says blush, but I use it for contour, blush, whatever. So I'm going to be taking that. A hard candy bronzer and I'm just gonna put that where I put the cream contour and that's just kind of setting it and personally for me I really love bronzer but I think there's a better bronzer out there that you guys can use like NYX or something like that so I'll definitely try to find some good drugstore bronzers and do like a video on it but I just wanted to let you guys know that so for this one you can either do the hard candy one and this one's $14 for like all of them inside. Florence at Ulta, this one's $14. So it just depends on what you want. This is a cream blush so you can apply it with your fingers. Um, and then if you want this with everything in it, highlight, blush, and like bronzer, this is $14. And if you just want a highlighter, this one is Precious Petals by Wet n Wild and this one is really, really good. So for the purpose of this video, on this side of my face, I'll show you guys the $5 highlighter and the $14 blush. And then on this side of my face, I'll show you guys the whole combination of everything in this $14 palette itself. I'm gonna take the Florence by Mills blush and I'm gonna put that on my cheeks. I personally love this blush so freaking much. You can use your fingers with this, by the way. But for me, I just, I don't like things on my hands when I'm doing makeup. I like to apply blush a lot. Um, I'm a big fan of blush recently. So if you're asking me what my favorite blush is, it'll always be this one. And this is by Millie Bobby Brown, surprisingly. I didn't know this was her company until I Googled it, but yeah. And now this one is in the hard candy palette thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that on my cheeks. And this one is really good too, but I just personally like my cream blush a lot better, but they're both equally good. So that's the difference. So that's the powder side on the left and the right side is the cream blush. And now I'm gonna do the highlighter um, on the left side of my face. So like that, and then that's the $5 Precious Petals. So now I'm putting the Precious Petals on this side of my face and I can't admit I did overdo it. But you know what, it's fine, I'm at home, I didn't go out. Just leave me alone, okay? <laughs> so now I'm taking my Ulta Eyebrow Pencil and my e.l.f. Eyebrow Dip. And I'm combing out my brows with the pencil because I already used all of the product. So I have to resort back to my e.l.f. But they both were cheap, the e.l.f. was only like $2. Ulta Brow Pencil was like 4 or $6. So they're both very cheap. Now I'm going to take the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, and this is really, really good. Y'all, this mascara makes my lashes look so freaking long. And you have to be careful with this, though, because it does apply a lot of products. So if you don't be careful, you can end up with spider lashes, and we don't want that. Unless that's your thing, but yeah. Okay, so for this, I'm going to be taking my NYX Lip Pencils in Nutmeg in London. 
my NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline and my Soft Matte Cream in London as well and just some lip gloss from Amazon or the beauty supply store. So I'm gonna put Nutmeg all over my lips and just line them and then I'm gonna take London and put that on top and put the London Matte Cream on top of that then the Madeline Lip Gloss on top. There's so many glosses. And then I'm gonna put the Beauty Store Lip Gloss just on the middle of my lips, just like that, and then on the very, very top of my lip. So it looks so much bigger that way. Like, look at that. Bam! The only thing bad about that lip gloss is that it just makes your lips look so sticky. Do you see that? Ew. So definitely comment down below any other videos that you guys wanna see from me, cause I'm definitely taking requests. Let me know, cause I'm very excited for this channel. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.